Audacity 3.2 has a share audio button, and I'm going to show you how to use it in this video. Take a look at the screen that I've got open here, and right here at the top, you'll see this big share audio button. What this does is it takes the audio in your project, it doesn't matter how many tracks you have, it takes the entire project that you've got, and it shares that audio into the cloud to audio.com so that you can share it with other people, they can go get it. This is huge because I cannot tell you as a teacher how many times people have wanted to share their audio with me or I share it with them, but there's always this challenge, you know, where do you put this big old file? Well, this share audio button solves that issue altogether. So let me demonstrate this for you real quick. I'm going to push R to start recording, and I'm just using my internal microphone on my MacBook. I just want to get some audio laid down here. It doesn't matter how long it is. It doesn't matter how much it is. Let's stop right there. And so we've got a little track in here. Now, to share the audio, I just simply come up to the share audio button. You don't have to select anything. This just shares your entire project. So if I click the share audio button, it opens up this little window, and it wants to take me to audio.com. Audio.com is the website that Audacity uses to share your audio. Audio.com is in beta right now, so keep that in mind as well. Now, I've already linked my account on audio.com. I've already created an account, and it's linked. But if you haven't linked an account on audio.com, this is going to bring up a window that's asking you to create an account. Once you do, that account will be linked. So I'm going to tell it to continue and it will upload that short piece of audio to my account on audio.com. Now I'm going to go open my web browser here real quick. And this is my account on audio.com. So to see that piece of audio that I just uploaded, I'm simply going to refresh my web browser. And when I refresh my web browser, there's the audio that I just recorded that I shared to audio.com. So I can come in here and play it. Let's give it a listen. And I'm just using my internal microphone on my MacBook. I just want to get some audio laid down here. It doesn't matter how long it is. It doesn't matter how much it is. Let's stop. So there's the audio that I just shared with myself. From this point, I can download it. I can, I can send others the link. If I go back here to Audacity 3.2, this is the beta version, by the way. I can copy that link right here and I can send it to somebody and say, here's the piece of audio that I want you to listen to or that I want to share with you. If I click go to my file, it does the same thing. It opens up just that one file on audio.com instead of my entire profile. Now you'll notice here too that the audio that I uploaded to audio.com is private. It's set to private automatically. So you don't have to worry about it being out there for the entire world to hear. I can also delete the audio. I can edit the audio. I can download the audio. And from here, I can also share it as well. So that's one of the latest features in Audacity version 3.2. Again, I'm running the beta version. The production version isn't out yet, but I am using this in production so that I can test it. And that's all I have for you in this short video. And until next time, y'all take care.